Hey, I'm Ted. Welcome to uh, another Schooly build video. And uh, you're joining me today as I make it up as I go along. So, need to make the... the I don't know what you want to call this. I guess it's a couch, but it also kind of is a passenger seat. It also hopefully folds out into a bed. It's the lounge area. It's got to perform a lot of functions and so uh, again you kind of get, well I kind of get lost. I won't speak for you guys but you know when trying to look at all the designs out there and figure out which is going to work best for you it's sometimes uh, sometimes a bit daunting so I've been hemming and hawing about this for a while so I decided to go with my normal strategy of well let's just uh, let's just start building and <laughs> hopefully it will work out. So. Thanks for joining, let's see how it goes. Clearly you need a place for people to sit, especially Julie or me, depending on who's driving as we go. So uh, you don't want something that's safe, you know, have to put in the seat belts and things like that. And you know, also needs to be comfortable. Uh, we thought about, you know, of course there's things that face that way, but it just doesn't seem to fit the space. So it's gonna fit this way. Um, also, I got some concerns that kind of that's where I want to put the stove and we're a little close to that But I don't really know any other option. put the sink there. I suppose that's a different option And then you know we want the, the heater cabinets kind of kind of really got to go over there on that side So, you know, I'm kind of limited in space here So I was hoping that I could make this a full-size bed um, But I don't think that's gonna work and so it's just gonna be a little bit smaller and we're gonna do the custom pillows anyway and I'm gonna to have to use flat sheets instead of fitted sheets I think is the solution there so what have we got here no I lost my tape measure it's uh not quite 54 inches it's like 52 so it's awful close to a full-size bed but not all the way so also it seems to be you know a river family we're hanging out we're uh, we're cooking dinner together we're playing cards or whatever so we need kind of a table that goes in the middle and I almost made the mistake of uh, designing myself because it looked cool, not because it really fit. You know, I love the the one the slat beds that slide out, um, but the uh, reality is, if I want to, so this the, it's the slat slide out, and then that becomes the bed that the, becomes the bed. But the reality is, if I'm going to have a table, um, you know, for for our family dinners that we have around and playing cards, then the table can double as that. So really, kind of a pop up lid, I guess, makes more sense. And I'll build a table underneath and the table will slide out and go onto the middle and then we're gonna have a breakfast nook over there with two chairs and a fold down table and that will kind of be the foot of the bed so that's the general idea I also I, I, I the, like the wedge the wedge bolsters the wedge pillows to the back to have the diagonal don't make a whole lot of sense to me because how do you use the wedge pillow as part of the bed so um, I'm definitely gonna create some sort of angle here so it's a little bit more comfortable if you lean back so that's another thing I have to figure out, and I guess that can sort of fold forward um, so we can have a little bit of storage space in there, not that we're gonna gain a lot, um, but maybe a little, and then I need to hinge something like that. So, uh, you know, try drawing it out a bunch of times, but I just can't, it's hard for me to see on paper. I kind of have to get some general ideas and then build it as we go for something like this anyway, something I've never done before. So, thanks for joining me on the journey, and uh, let's, uh, let's get building. Okay, I got some dimensions figured out. Let's uh, rip down some two by twos. And cut them to length. So this is gonna be my uh, rails go across the frame and then these are gonna go between the spacer, so I'm gonna attach these, put pocket holes in there with my Craig jig, so we'll do that next. Right now, do a layout for our vertical pieces, and say we're gonna have one right at the end here, and just out of habit from framing walls, you go over 15 and a quarter from there, and then 16 from there. Put my X's. All right, might as well do all four of them while I'm right here. So 
so something like this, I think, huh? Uh, basically, can you see me? I'll come down here. So basically, I took the the couch in the house and the regular tables and stuff, and kind of came out like the total height is about 19 inches, which seemed all right, which also seemed a little high uh, for a bus. I think I, I think like automotive seats are a little bit shorter, but. I don't want to go too much shorter. So I subtracted four inches from, I think, 19 and a half to get this height here because I'll put a four inch, uh, uh, what is it, high density foam uh, cushion on top of it that will make, I think I, my lovely mother in law, I think actually will make it. And so I had to see how this goes. So this is going to go something like this. And then I think this piece is going to have to come in something like that because if the, if the back leans back a little bit, I have to cut those pieces, and then I'm gonna put pieces to put it all to put this sort of make a box together. I guess I should play around with the back next to figure out how that's gonna go. I need some sort of board that goes across here that the back can attach with a hinge, and then also the same that board made the same way. This one will, I don't know if you can see this at all. Back side will hinge so that the back will flip this way, and the front side of the board will have a hinge to flip the lid up like that to pull the table out and access the storage. So I guess I gotta cut the angle on these to figure out where that's gonna fall. So how far high should that back go, I think? I don't know. I think the couch is like 19. Let's see, what's my back? My back's 19. Oh. 19 up from there is like to the top of that. Like up here in the windows, you get a little bit of angle coming back. Something like that. That puts at the top of that. That wouldn't be too bad. Maybe a little high. What if we shot for? if I should shoot for 18 or make it 19 and then see how it looks. I also uh, built a uh, like a deacon's bench a couple years ago to put it at our table and this is the angle I sort of arbitrarily chose to, for the back um, but I think I wanted a little bit reclinier. Is that a word? I think I wanted a little reclinier so let's try it. Let's cut a couple and see what it looks like. And further thinking about it, I cut this 24 to account for the cushions with that. So let's see, if this is at that angle, because that's going to go right against the window. That can't, that can't be good. That's going to, no, not really. That's better. got to find that spot. Oh, actually, that's not so bad right there. I was worried about... giving up too much going this way. So if that falls there, I need to put this on a board so that will hinge. You know, there's not enough room there to really make it worthwhile to hinge anyway. I should just lock it in place. Save myself. Yeah, I don't really gain much from doing that. All right, so that's gonna go right there. Stay. It's not really that plum. Where's my square? Oh. Square goes like that. Something like that. So that means I should put a mark right there. So I know where to go. So I need a bunch that are 20 and 9 sixteenths to connect the two together. But I cut my connector pieces, just more two by twos ripped down and did my screws at the end. I kind of tacked this into place just so it wouldn't move around so I could figure things out. It might have been easier to leave it out, but I don't know, it's in now.
think the battery's about to die on the old Origin. <laughs> yep. All right. On to this section, I guess, while we attempt to charge a battery. Actually, that needs to come out a little bit further. Hmm. Well, look at that angle. Yeah, that should actually come out like another three quarters of an inch. Hmm. Well, I guess I can take these off. Actually, I'm not going to shorten them three quarters of an inch. To put another piece along here anyway to help with my lid. So I'll do that. That'll be easier. I'll put a little scab piece on and that will be easier and better. Easier and better is always good. Well, the battery's charged moon impact driver. I'll use this thing. It's a behemoth. I've had it for 180 years. But it's heavy. It doesn't impact. And the battery dies fast. Probably the same thing can be said for me. Okay, we're gonna scab this piece on so that the this back frame piece comes out to the edge. I moved uh, didn't have it quite sitting flat before. Alright, I guess I'll cut the back pieces. Hey, so I was looking around in my scrap pile over there of miscellaneous wood for that scab piece that I put on, and I found this. A live edge piece of maple, it's kind of dirty. But what if the top of the back was this live edge? That look cool. Needs to be cleaned up for sure, but might fit sort of the decor of sort of the river woodsy type bus. So I think I have to cut it, I have to rip it down. This part right here is a little sketchy. This is just bark. Wonder, let's try it. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so I put a coat of shellac on the live edge piece and I screwed my framing pieces into that, so I'm letting that dry. So now I gotta think about designing the lid which is essentially going to be a piece of three quarter inch plywood um, but it needs a frame underneath it, one to give it a little bit of support and two, it's going to have lips at the bottom of the frame to hold the table when I slide it in there so I guess I got to get the inside dimensions of this and do the same thing, just cut pieces and Craig jig them together um, which will be my lid I think so Alright, so I made this uh, inside frame, same process, ripped down 2x4s, Craig jigged them all together, let's see if it fits. Looks like it's a little tight, but it'll work. I might trim off that end a little bit just to make it a little bit smoother. I knew I should have made it a little narrower. That's no big deal. But now, when this folds up like this, I'm going to want to be able to pull a table out. So I'm going to make something there, a little overhang like that, so that I can put a table in it. And it's going to be narrower stock so that I can get as much as wide as I can. Still it needs to be fairly strong. I think I'll use some three quarter inch something or other. 
and do that. All right, gonna make the lip. All right, so I found some uh, scrap uh, three quarter inch pine and a couple pieces of oak. Uh, oak just because it was already ripped to the right side, it's just a piece of scrap, so I pre drilled some holes through it this way. I'm gonna go back to the Greg Jig strategy here. Since this is gonna hold some weight, might as well get a little glue on there as well. Probably make it easier. Put the holes towards me, huh? Doesn't really matter. No one's gonna see it. Alright, so it's gonna sit inside there like that. Open up like that so you can pull the table out of it. So I suppose cut the plywood top maybe get the back secured I still gotta mess around with the wiring but I'll tack it in and see what it looks like I think as well I'm gonna need some blocking for this to sit on so down underneath has some support do you think that's going to be necessary? But not a big deal. I think easy to manifest. So we want this to sit on some supports when it's in its down position. Figure out where the supports are going to go. Let's see where this one's going to go. So it's starting to come together. Yeah, I like the look of that live edge. It's kind of wonky as far as square ways, but uh, if we screw it down, it'll be all right. So I need a piece of half inch plywood here to go underneath and the three quarter plywood here. Uh, one thing I overlooked was that I need a piece of three quarter plywood here and a piece of three quarter plywood here. Um, and they have to be at the same level for the hinges to match. So. Um, this is probably going to have to come up another three quarters of an inch and I'm going to have to have two options. I could run one piece of three quarter strip all the way across to match it or I could just put a couple patches where the hinges are which is probably going to be hidden anyway underneath the cushions but I think probably I'll just run the whole three quarter piece. I got a bunch of scraps I can use and then cut this piece which is going to be 20 and a half. All right, so the frame of this is an inch and a half in. I'm gonna go halfway to that, so it's an inch and a half plus another three quarters. It's two and a quarter. All right, looks like I gotta shorten those brackets for the table because it's hitting there when it swings up. Alright, so I basically took a 45 off that with a combination of a skill saw and a sawzall. Looks like it may, might just work a little bit better. Still a little tight, but. think what I'll have to do is round that edge off and I think that will because that's catching on that lip
All right, that's the next process. I'll take this block plane and smooth off that edge a little bit. This is my father-in-law's block plane that came to me when he passed on. So it's kind of cool to be able to use some family heirloom tools. There, that'll do the trick, I think. I think I'm gonna screw this down. something more like that but with cushions so all right I think that's gonna be the end of this video I'm clearly not done I'm gonna uh, say I'm gonna mount a an outlet right here and I chain this in put a cup holder in it so I got a, a little bit more work to do but I think this video is more about how to build things on the fly and uh, you guys that can uh, Envision how everything's gonna go ahead of time. I really envy you because that's something that I really struggle with Sometimes I just have to kind of figure it out as I go. So um, I think it's gonna work. I think that's uh, actually seems like maybe it's a little high I don't know if I really hate it. I'll have to rebuild some parts of it and get it down there, but um, it Seems to be with some cushions on maybe it'll be all right. So Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you checking in. Uh, like, subscribe, do all those things that you do. Um, I'll post uh, a lot of the stuff I have in the comments if uh, it's helpful. Um, again, as an Amazon affiliate, get a small percentage every time you order something through those or even click on the links to get something else. So really appreciate all that support. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.